genitourinary syndrome of menopause, GSM, previously known as atrophic vaginitis. When women go through menopause, we typically think of the vasomotor symptoms, hot flashes, night sweats, just things that make you miserable. Less commonly publicly known is women start seeing changes in their vaginal health. The tissues become drier, start losing their elasticity, lubrication decreases. It also plays a role in the risk for women getting urinary infections. Treatment for this is not typically systemic. Um, giving estrogen to the whole body to treat the vasomotor symptoms is often not adequate to treat the GSM or the localized vaginal symptoms. Using localized vaginal estrogen is the most effective treatment for this. Uh, it can be treated with uh, vaginal creams. It can be treated with uh, vaginal tablets. There are special suppositories that fit in the vagina. Um, or even a silicone ring that releases very low dose vaginal estrogen. One of the important things to realize about localized vaginal estrogen for GSM is it is very, very low dose. If it's not changing your blood levels of estrogen, then it can't have any systemic effect, which is what many of my female patients worry about. I heard one urologist say that a year's worth of vaginal estrogen is equal to approximately one oral estrogen pill. Using vaginal estrogen is not an immediate effect. Our goal is to improve the health of the vaginal tissue, in a sense reversing aging and time. Uh, over time, women will see the tissue is not as dry. Over time, the lining of the vagina becomes thickened or plumper. Uh, women see improvement in natural lubrication, and the tissue even regains its natural elasticity. It may take a month or so to start seeing improvement, but it can be so beneficial, and we can minimize the cost of the treatment.